Alrighty, y'all. Hello. Welcome back. Taking a look at the Praga V3S. Uh, this is, I'm told, a really, really awesome truck that's long overdue. Because if you know, I'm pretty obsessed with Tatra trucks. I just think they're freaking awesome, uh, to put it lightly. <laughs> and uh, I've been told on some recent videos that if I'm into those, you know, older Tatra trucks... Uh, then I have to take a look at the V3S. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, somehow this is, you know, snuck under the radar and I haven't learned about this. So we're going to jump straight in. This was uh, commented recently, multiple times actually by, I think many people, but recently by Mike XT on a uh, recent Tatra video. So I appreciate that suggestion. Let's get straight into this. Uh, I will be looking at some clips of different videos. So uh, these will all be linked in the description down below so you can watch these whole things and browse their channels. And uh, we'll learn about it towards the end or the middle as well. Let's go. All right, so this is inside. This is going to be good. Sorry for the voice crack. This is going to be damn good. Okay. This thing sounds great already, and we're just idling. It almost looks like there's no mirrors, right? So I, I think they're just having to do the old look around to see behind them. But that's okay. This thing's extremely utilitarian, as you can see. <laughs> not exactly a luxury vehicle, but that's not what anyone would expect out of an awesome industrial military truck like this. Let that thing sing. <laughs> These guys on the bikes got to make room for this big thing. They're on some sort of trail, I guess. It's kind of hoping we get to hear this thing wind out a little bit. Although, this would be extremely fun taking it you know off the beaten path on a trail like this I mean that's kind of what's made for I love they're in there bouncing around you know that thing rides like a big truck gotta love it that's why they're so fun So this thing's got to be old, so we're going to learn about it, obviously. I'm judging from the interior and the gauges and stuff. It's got to be old, like 60s, 70s, maybe? I love the hand cranks for the windows. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of RPM. Boy, this is a beautiful area. I wonder, uh, tell me if anyone knows where this is. I don't know if this is in the uh, Czech Republic or Slovakia. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it's pretty. Damn, that thing sounds good. We saw literally barely any of that video, so this will be linked below so you can check the whole thing out. All right, on to the next. Now this one is the same truck, at least according to the title. I don't know why there's a Mercedes logo there. I'm assuming they're just trolling. <laughs> I don't think this is a Mercedes as far as I know. I do see the, uh, the Czech flag right there. Oh, come on, come on, let's go. I love the look of it. Keep in mind, this is a big truck. Okay, I can already tell. And this thing is, 
you know, waist deep <laughs> in the water. That is a extremely intimidating obstacle, right? Deep, wet mud, literally water. This is not easy. You're not taking your street vehicle, like a, even a pickup truck or, you know, obviously no cars are going through this. Oh man, it sounds so good. Oh, here we go. He's going to get it. So close. Just back a little bit and then try and feather it, get it to get it to bite. He's going to get it 100%. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Damn, that thing sounds freaking great. That has such an industrial sound. My goodness, does that sound phenomenal. Kind of glad he's not getting out the first time. We get to hear it a little bit, you know? I can't tell if it's a 4x4 four four or a 6x6. Six six. I think it might have two axles in back. Come on, come on. Oh, I think he could have had it. Maybe upshift, yeah? Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Dude, that thing is awesome. And I love going straight to the comments. <laughs> Someone says it in presumably Czech or maybe a different language, but someone says, if you translate it, the mistake is between the steering wheel and the seat. <laughs> Obviously referring to the driver. Uh, the Mercedes brand on the hood really pissed me off. Yeah, I agree. I don't think this is a Mercedes. I wasn't told that it's a Mercedes. I was under the impression that this was like another uh, Czech truck brand uh, because obviously, like I said, I have learned a lot about Tatra and just totally think they're awesome. And uh, I was under the impression this was like another, you know, uh, Czech brand to check out. Uh, I don't think this is a Mercedes truck, although it could be wrong. Alrighty, and now we have another video, totally unrelated. This will be linked down below as well. We're only going to be looking at part of it, like all of these. Uh, this one... <laughs> It might be the same truck because I see the check flag on the side and the very odd misplaced Mercedes logo. But if we can ignore that, this truck is awesome. Um, you can see the gargantuan solid axle in front. Leaf springs, right? This is obviously an old school truck, which I love. I will also say that um, the kind of like the best old school formula, at least here in the U.S., that seems to be lost. Everyone goes for like the huge big you know rims and then the wide tires and stuff and that's actually not good for off-roading when you actually think about it um these kind of tires right this old school tread with the the very narrow um tire width there yeah um that is better right that's always better at off-roading it actually cuts into the mud and cuts in the snow and whatever uh better and, and ends up finding traction usually more efficiently so this thing has got the right formula Although this looks like very kind of tough terrain again. Very unstable and wet and mushy. But this thing draws a crowd. God, it sounds so good. All right, let's see if he can get it out. Oh, oh boy. Hell yeah, let's go! 
Easy work, easy work. God, is that guy grinding the gears? Jeez, man. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> Taking tree limbs with it. Love it. Damn, another deep obstacle. Holy smokes. This might be a little tougher. Looks like a very steep incline to get out of there. And even though this thing's a beast, when you're dealing with something that heavy and, and low traction, oof. That's gonna be tough, man. All right. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to make it. He's tried quite a few times. He's made some progress. Dude, that is a mean looking truck, man. I freaking love it. How, how did I not see this yet when I've been looking at all the Tatra stuff? Damn, that. Dude, there have been some insane. Badass trucks that have came out of, I, I guess at the time would have been Czechoslovakia, right? I mean, wow. Holy smokes, did they make some badass trucks. I freaking love it, dude. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. I think he needs that next gear. That's what I'd go for. Get that momentum with first gear or low gear. Get it, get it moving right. And then when it starts slipping, boom, throw it in the next gear and have it bite down. You hear the engine lug a, a little bit, and you know you're going to claw your way out. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, look at the door opens backwards. What? <laughs> it looks like the same driver as well. Um, hey, props. I, I mean, look, you do you. Like anyone could do what they want. I, this guy must be a Mercedes fan. He's got like a Mercedes gear on. But this thing is, I mean, we'll learn about it. I'm pretty sure this is not a Mercedes truck. <laughs> hey, to each their own. Alrighty, and then looking at cold start. I love me some cold starts, especially of old uh, diesels. It says the uh, the Praga V3S is an all-terrain, multi-purpose truck produced between 1953 and 1990 in Czechoslovakia. It was designed for the armed forces and was also exported to 72 countries. 72 countries. Whoa, that's insane. This was a popular truck. I, I I'm not surprised. Looks like it's fit for the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to that thing. Listen to that choppy startup. They produced the truck until 1964, so this is really old. Uh, then it says the Avia Company till around 1986, after which the Bratislava Company Baz, or B-A-Z, uh, rolled out these vehicles until 1990. Around 130,000 units were manufactured. So a, a little bit of a healthy amount. 1960, or I would say, I don't know when it started, maybe the late 50s, early 60s, 
all the way until around 1990. That's crazy. I imagine there's still a ton of these around, I hope, right? Um, I would love to get one <laughs> in my dreams, but, you know, one can one can dream, right? And I wonder if these are still used in any actual positions, right? Like in any militaries or maybe as some sort of work, you know, like government trucks or something. Uh, you have to let me know. Thing sounds awesome. Wow. Oh, another one. Another cold start. Wow, so, like I said, the Tatras are absolutely fascinating. Ultimate badass truck, in my opinion. Uh, and these are right up there with them because this it says this was actually the longest produced... Um, Czechoslovak truck. Uh, this was amongst the best off-road cargo vehicles of its time. And the Czechoslovak army used it for more than half a century. Absolutely love the starting method there. <laughs> Damn, it sounds so good. Okay, even even the kiddos there for the experience <laughs> got the snow dude this uh, man part of me wishes i just had like some some land some farm in uh you know the czech republic or slovakia or somewhere and uh one of these and a tatra and just i want to go out in the morning at like six in the morning you know i want to have a little bit of fresh coffee or or beer <laughs> whatever i'm feeling that day and uh i want to fire these things up right just just putt around the property and just, yeah, just live life, man. I wish. That'd be, that'd be freaking sick. Yeah, it says obviously these had great ground clearance. High ground clearance and the structure provides a great terrain passability. This must be the engine, yeah? Same engine, inline six, it looks like. Wow, because this thing was so tall, though, and, uh, you know, obviously probably heavily geared and off-road oriented, uh, it only had a maximum speed of 60 kilometers per hour or 37 uh, miles per hour. It was durable, popular, and extremely adaptable, built in various versions. Yeah, this thing's awesome, dude. What a cool engine. Damn. Thing looks like a workhorse. <laughs> Dude, that is such an awesome truck. All right, so let's uh, move on to looking at it a little bit about this thing. Um, and we can do this view. So the Praga V3S. Uh, this is probably Czech, right? I'm not going to pretend I can pronounce that. Um, Vohinsky uh, Tritunovi Special. Special? Military three-ton special. By the way, if you're laughing, that's fine. I probably totally butchered that. <laughs> uh, about the only check I know is Tatra <laughs> or Dobry Den, Ahoy, you know, Nastravi, stuff like that. That's about it. Uh, an all-terrain, multi-purpose truck produced between 1953 and 1990 in Czechoslovakia, like we read earlier. Uh, this does mention that it still serves in the Czech Army, which I think is awesome. I was going to say, I bet they still use this. Uh, you know, like someone uses this to various degree, I'm sure. Um, but they are slowly being replaced by the Tatra 810 and 815. Um, now, of course, we have seen these in other videos. And like I said, I freaking drool over Tatras, dude. These things are the epitome of awesome big trucks. I freaking love these. Uh, but I tell you what, this thing is a beast. And it, considering how old it is, makes it even that much cooler. I mean, this thing was kicking butt back in his day as like a solid, reliable, big truck that you could just do so many things with. Uh, it's really cool to see. And I bet for its time, if you're talking about the early ones, right? Like the 50s, it says. I have no doubt this truck was one of the best trucks kind of in the world, I would imagine, right? 
saying had to have an awesome reputation. Uh, for the development of the prototype stage of the truck, designers were given only four months. Four months? How did they make this? How did they come up with this thing in four months? It was mainly inspired by the American Studebaker US6. Wow, that's a truck I don't even know about. That's actually kind of cool. That's an American truck? Wow. Very cool. Made in South Bend, Indiana. That's not f too far away from me. I'm in Illinois next door. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, honestly, I'll have to read about that later as well. Uh, but inspired by the uh, Studebaker US6 and the Russian ZIL. Oh, it's just a like a company. Okay, very cool. Uh, as we mentioned, you know, portal axles, axles positioned high above the wheel axis, and the V3S had a high ground clearance, great terrain passability, and it does, again, mention that these are still hard at work in the modern day. The engine is air-cooled diesel six-cylinder Tatra 912-1. Modified engine from the Tatra 111. No way. Okay, so this is a check truck. And it does have a connection to Tatra. It's kind of a sister truck, you could say. It does have the heartbeat of a Tatra, of course, having the same engine, the air-cooled diesel. That's really cool. I like that connection. This thing also had direct fuel injection and overhead valves. It's relatively noisy. I love the noise, by the way. It is. It's definitely not quiet, but that's what I love about it. It sounds so industrial and satisfying to hear. Works reliably even in extreme conditions. Climbing ability is up to 75% without tow. 10 wheels, rear are 4, dual, fr front are 2, to help the truck not to bog down in soft soil. Therefore, it does not experience any problems in forests or in the field. Consumption is 30 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. The fuel tank has a capacity of 120 liters. The truck is able to get over 40 centimeters high perpendicular obstacle. Weighting depth is 80 centimeters. There are two 12-volt batteries. They are connected in parallel during traffic, but serially when engine starts. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, the payload of the truck is five tons. And let's see some of the different versions. That is cool. That's like a, um, what is this? Emergency medical service. The Zlin region of the Czech Republic. Dude, I love seeing the different versions of these trucks. That is super cool. This one right here. And I believe that's the proper logo. <laughs> no Mercedes star on this one. We have the Praga logo. That sounds better. The Icer truck interesting okay very very cool love it with the matching you know od green um wheels of course here's like a flatbed just kind of open truck i mean you could make a hell of a work truck out of this or a farm truck if you wanted there's a tanker truck that's different that's a different take on this huh very cool to see it with color and see it you know as a tanker truck just shows the versatility of vehicles like this, like the Unamog and the Tatras and this Praga, right? Very cool. Again, like a cargo truck you can haul stuff with, just painted in blue, probably for some sort of business or personal use. Really cool to see. Look at it as a fire engine. How freaking awesome is that? You know I love fire trucks, especially these European fire trucks are so cool. Damn. That looks handsome. Here's one as a crane. Freaking love it. That looks like perfect as a crane truck, by the way. And then look at this one. This is technically the same chassis, but this one's completely modified. Look, totally different body on this with the camo and a huge <laughs> anti-aircraft gun. Yeah, this thing's badass. Well, I'd say uh, the Praga V3S is awesome i'm an instant fan i think you guys knew that when you were suggesting this to me so i do appreciate those ideas um yeah you guys know me <laughs> what is there not to like about this i will add this to my list of dream trucks uh also as added to the list of some of the best sounding vehicles i mean this thing looks good it sounds good uh it's intimidating looking it's cool looking uh, it also, you can tell, right? You can just kind of tell the way it sounds and the way it operates. You can tell this thing is built tough. This is a durable, freaking hard as a rock vehicle. I, I really love it. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Definitely more to come with Tatra and, of course, uh, some Praga action. If I can find some, that was a delight. I hope you had fun watching it. I cannot wait to see your comments on this. Please, any factoids, any experiences with this truck you want to share, I'm all ears. Let's hear about it. I appreciate you watching. It is also coming up on the weekend, so I hope your weekend is off to an excellent start. 
hopefully i will see you in the next one my name is ian you watch the 9w rocker until next time y'all catch you later